All right. Music thanks to HacksRadio.com, the stream the FBI listens to. And it's time again for the Hacker News. First up, Hacker Group Anonymous claim responsibility for taking down the websites of U.S. Telecom and Tech America, which both back the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act of 2011. Both sites remained unreachable as of Monday afternoon. The attacks began yesterday when users were unable to log in onto sites. U.S. Telecom represents telecom companies including AT&T, Verizon, and CenturyLink, and Tech America's members include tech companies such as IBM, Microsoft, and Apple. A Twitter account called Anon Central yesterday called Rogers Bill Draconian and posted a link to groups and companies supporting the legislation. Anonymous posted a YouTube video showing U.S. Telecom site down Sunday and the site was down for about 24 hours according to U.S. Telecom spokesman. Anonymous on Friday released a YouTube video threatening supporters of the Cyber Intelligence Sharing and Protection Act, a bill focused on encouraging U.S. government agencies and private businesses to trade information about cyber attacks. CISPA, uh, sponsored by Reps Mike Rogers and Dutch Rupertsberger, had recently caught the attention of online activists who are uh, comparing it to the now shelf Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA. Lawmakers say the goal of CISPA is to help companies beef up defenses against hackers who steal business secrets, rob customer financial information, and wreak havoc on computer systems. The bill would tear down legal barriers and discourage companies from sharing information about cyber attacks. The privacy ag- advocates warn the legislation could lead companies to share private user information with federal spy agencies. The House is expected to vote on the cybersecurity measure the week of April 23rd. And Homeland Security added again, hacking into game gaming consoles to obtain user data. The U.S. government has hired California-based company to hack into video game consoles such as Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 to watch criminals, especially child predators, and learn how to collect evidence against them. The government has awarded a $177,000 contract to obscure technologies, develop, develop tools that can be used to extract data from video game systems. The $177,000 contract with Obscure Technologies is uh, being executed by the U.S. Navy on behalf of the Department of Homeland Security because of the Navy's expertise in the field, officials said. Anyone who has ever played a few games of Call of Duty or Halo Online knows that communities like Xbox Live aren't exactly models of good behavior, but the federal government believes the occasional burst of profanity may not be the worst of what's going on according with consoles and it wants a way to dig deeper. Links to all the posts will be below. That's your Wednesday update for the Hacker News.